frozen to the bone There's darkness in your soul Hey, what's up, Parasites? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And in today's episode, I want to focus on this article from Variety, where they had a chance to talk to Juno Temple, who has been added to the cast of Venom 3 a while back, and I'm very excited to see who she's playing. I want to know who she's playing, because I'm a big fan of her, uh, even before Ted Lasso, which that show seemed to kind of really blow her up over the past few years. But before that, I mean, I've always followed her career, like Michelle Williams in the first Venom movies, who I hope returns back in this one. I would really like to see that. But even if not, you know, I, I love her work and I, I'm a big fan of Michelle. And then Juno coming in now, I'm like, this is great. She's very talented too. And she was at the SAG Awards recently and she talked about being in the film and how they're going to be wrapping, you know, filming soon, which is really, really cool because I've been sitting on something like that recently. Like I've been seeing some posts about the filming, you know, nearing its end, going to the final locations. And I kind of mentioned that briefly, but it's nice to see that information get out there now uh, to get fans excited fans of this franchise or even people that are like still on the fence maybe they like the first one and they were you know iffy on the second one or maybe they didn't like the first one and they they like the second one more like, you know there's all kind of mixed bag out there but at the end of the day there's a lot of venom fans out there i mean this franchise really shown how much this character has come out from the shadow of spider-man and become his own character and become a household name i mean that first movie making almost 900 million dollars off a 100 million dollar budget is amazing it's been amazing unfortunately though that success has got us movies like morbius and madam webb uh but uh but we also get the spider-verse movies which i love those movies too so it's a mixed bag you know over there at sony but i still love tom's performance and it was really cool to see juno not only talk about the film and how much fun she's having and how they're going to be wrapping filming soon it's really cool to get all that information but it's also cool that she praised tom and said you know he really commits to this character it's really important to him that he's doing a good job on this character and she found that really refreshing and she thinks that because of that no one else could probably play Eddie Brock again and that those shoes would be very hard to fill and I agree I think the commitment we got from Tom on this on this character not as just obviously Eddie but Venom as well he's doing the voice and this that odd couple thing energy they have between them has been fun to watch you know even in carnage which i liked a little bit less than the first venom movie i still felt like them you know the, those two characters were fantastic and consistently entertaining to watch and that's what i like about tom is he's a very entertaining and energetic guy and he brings something to the table you know and then he commits to something and he picked eddie as okay i'm gonna make him this loser i'm gonna make him this guy who screws up you know he he makes bad decisions to either get ahead in his life or maybe also to try to get the truth out there and and that's very similar to eddie in the comic books when he started as a journalist and he got the whole senator story wrong that's kind of captured pretty well in my opinion in these movies and yes they don't have spider-man in them but like i said this is about making venom his own character and i think they did a pretty good job uh, but where they'll go we'll see in this movie juno said she had a great time making it and that she feels very blessed that throughout her career she's worked with great casts like the one she's working with in venom and great directors and people like that like with kelly and everything so i'm really excited you know we talked about clark in the last episode and how she's bringing this great energy to the film and i know juno is going to be as well and again i'm speculating who is she playing i have no idea and my mind's going to a million places let me know what you think down below as always and we'll keep talking down there and again click that link check out the variety article for yourself and let me know your thoughts after you read it thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff Hopefully now we're on a path where we're getting more movie information coming out. And as they get near the end of filming, uh, I'm curious to see some of those final locations we're going to get. Hopefully some of that gets out there. I don't want to see any major leaks, obviously, but I would love to see some things get out there. Maybe a couple shots from fans where we see Tom on set or something. It'd be cool. And I'd love to see that just to kind of wrap up this last bit that they're filming. So yeah, where do you think they're going next? Where do you think they're filming at, You know, right now? I'd love to hear those speculations down below and we'll keep talking down there. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.